get Neva. What are we doing? Just a little hop. You're really concerned about that pup. Okay, we're gonna move. Mm -hmm. Let's move. Just put her in the road? Yeah. Abby, if you put it right over here, babe, then the lighting and wind and stuff's good. Her beak almost already looks like it needs more trimming. Yeah. That was fast. Just do a step up for treat first. <laughs> my hand and pulled it in. <laughs> then maybe just go like six feet. Yeah, I don't know. Come on. You can do it. Good job. Good job. Not a very pretty flight, but it's a pretty short flight. But she's cute. No, this is like my birds are having a heyday over there. Come on, Eva. Good job. Good girl. I need to grab more pine nuts. I think. You're doing awesome. Hmm? Oh, not yet. Let's I just have one new bird at a time. Might face her the other way now that we got a little bit of wind. <laughs> She's there we go. That a little better flight. Way nicer, huh? A little better flight. Yeah. Yeah, first I made it look like your wing is broken. <laughs> She's like, hey, I could hear you. Good <laughs> job. I almost feel like she could be out while we fly. Yeah, she might be able to. Do you have any more pine nuts on you? I'm gonna have to grab some unless you wanna go grab some. Hey, I don't, I don't walk Capri, away. do you mind grabbing the pine nuts? Are they in the front seat? We have renamed this place Cow Patty Park. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good name for it. It used to be Goblin Level 1. Hold on. <laughs> but according to the sign, I think it should be Bold Patty. Good job. Alright, I'm gonna get in everybody's way for this. Oh! Can you put her down? Eva! Ah, shafted! No! <laughs> when the wind is there, it really helps her. How much further? There's no wind now. I said that. Good job. Good girl! You did it! You're doing it! Eva! Oh, cut. Take it. Good. That looks like a nice flight. Yeah. Like ten times in a row. He was the one thing the chicken. I was the chicken. Real well. oh. Ava! You can like No, no, oh. stop it! <laughs> he will. We have a little jealous streak in us. Eva. Good job. Really? Oh, now you're getting jealous? Really?
She pulled it out for that flight. <laughs> That's her finger. Come on, Eva. Good job. You'll probably stop there for now, huh? Where I would have picked. Which one? Ooh, we got some wind now. Yeah. Eva. Oh, good job. Because I was thinking about taking Jinx out and like having him do a big flight while she's out. Jinx and yeah, you want to? Yes. Eva! Oh, this struggle's oh. real. Pod, could you video? Sure. It's going, so you just need to point it in the direction of the action. All right. And you want to film him or her? Film these two going, but the Ava's in the shot. I'll just stand by you guys. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, go! Ah! Yes. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Yep. Oh. <laughs> that was yes. You see you're trying to figure out the brakes. about it or maybe it was she like and I. 700. I didn't at his think highest it was he's like oh no at the highest he's like 812. Alfie you're tiny. Oh. 640. Oh. He really wants to come to you right now. Just I think so. Do you want to catch him? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> really trust you. Really trust you. All right, let's uh, All right, let's, let's go, go fly, fly the real place. Goblin. Good job, Eva. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I can't wait till she and Jinx fly together. Going out again. Um, hold on. Good boy. Come on, girl. Mom, did you step on my Legos? Oh. oh my gosh, look at these little friends. You tried. Dave had me set up to fail on that one. Eva. <laughs> she had a great duo flight with uh, Tusa. Oh, really? Uh huh. Come on. Come on. That wasn't so bad. Don't do a spin. I don't want to spin. Oh, come on. She's like, but spinning is the easiest. I know. Come on, Amy. You gotta go.
Ava, are you going to do it? Ava. Let's go. Good job. Oh. I know you see Jamie back there. Oh. Jinx oh. wants to come to you. Purely for Ava reasons. <laughs> Yay! Just took a little warm up. You watching? Can you move to the side to see Me? Right here? Yeah, uh, the whole thing. Oh. Can you move Ava a little bit to the side? Uh, on the next flight. Okay. Ava! Oh, the oh. shifted a little on you. <laughs> as soon as you took flight. <laughs> Good job. Oh, move my clicker. Ah. Yeah, took it off. Do you need a magnetic one? Oh, it's okay. Thank you, though. Ava! Ava. Really? Yeah. Good job. So. Probably yeah. gonna go higher. Yeah. Ava. <laughs> Good job. Ava. Good job. You fly sideways though. Ava. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so you just got to see Ava's very first flight trip. Now, I feel great about it. Uh, leading up, I was super nervous and because of how I planned the trip, I was open to the fact that maybe she wouldn't get to fly. Um, but it all worked out amazing. Literally, Dave was like, okay, you wanna take Ava out? And I was like, for real? You think it's good? You think she's ready? Like, oh my gosh. Um, now, we were not home a lot for those four months that we had to train that I gave myself. I feel like if we would have 100% only had her training on our plates, we could have had her so much more capable and skillful. But the truth was, um, we were barely around and home. So for what we were home and could dedicate to this mission, I feel really good about what we accomplished. Uh, but I know that if we would have like side tabled everything else and just focused on this, it could have been, it could have been so much more amazing. Uh, but I realize that like a lot of us feel that way, right? We can't just like stop everything uh, as much as I wish we could have. So obviously my goal was to have her flying outside. We did accomplish that. We didn't accomplish her flying with Jinx. The closest we got you guys saw was we had them out at the same time. I would always hold Jinx. Dave would be working with Ava just so he could see and be present. We weren't sure if Jinx wanted to fly to Dave sometimes because he was training and had treats or because there was maybe a jealousy issue since Ava was being trained by one of his humans or if he wanted to be closer to Ava. We just weren't really sure and we didn't trust any of his intentions. Uh, so we didn't push that envelope and I was constantly looking to Dave on that because Dave's going to be a lot more reserved. So you saw um, as close as we got them. However, they were side by side in our travel trailer every single day and they did great that way. And we don't see Jinx trying to attack her or anything, but we do see some jealousy body language, which looks like beak open, a few feathers are up anytime I go to interact with her, even if I go to like feed her. So we're playing it very safe as we don't want to get off on the right, on the wrong foot. Um, Ava's so sweet. I feel like she'd be really nice. It's Jinx. <laughs> that is definitely the wild card in this situation. Um, also in those four months is what I, I also had to not just do flight training. I also had to convert her diet 
work on desensitizing her to the outdoors, which is such a giant factor when it comes to flying a bird outside. I wanted her to enjoy bathing, which we accomplished, and then I prioritized flight. So it wasn't four months of 100% flight either. So I, I feel like I gave myself a giant goal with not a lot of actual time. Like I say four months, but how many days I actually spent, I probably should have kept track because it was nowhere near that. Mwah, you're so cute. So I'm continuing Ava's indoor flight training now that it's winter here, and we're going to be working really, really hard on that in preparation of our second flight trip, which is coming up in Arizona, and I hope to get her out. So Dave and I have already talked about it. We are only going to bring her Jinx and Cressy on the next flight trip just to keep it very simple. It's a shorter trip than usual. Dave's going to be um, with the birds longer. I have to fly back for Capri's gymnastics competition. It's just there's a lot involved in it and we want to make it as simple as possible on taking care of the birds. So if there's only three of them that'll be a lot easier. Cressy and Jinx are super easy for Dave to free fly and stuff so we, we just want to keep it simple. So we're only going to bring those three birds next trip. We're hoping that Ava will look similar to how she did this last trip. Now, I showed you pretty much every single flight that she took on this last trip. And although it wasn't a ton, it was really positive. She never went for an exploratory. I think a lot of that is because she knows that she's not quite capable and hasn't developed a lot of muscles and skills that are necessary. You could see the difference between her flights where they were really low and a little out of control and the ones that were higher up using the wind to her advantage. She's still learning a lot. This flight process develops slowly and differently when you work with older birds. And also I was rewatching my earlier videos with her where I said that she was fully flighted and I didn't realize that she had some clipped feathers still that needed to be molted out during that four month period. So that was a lot too. I felt like I got her to the length that she was capable of doing with her clipped feathers, but she couldn't seem to go any further. Um, so that held us back a little bit too, but I'm happy going at her pace. I'm happy that it's been so positive and you've done super well. Um, <laughs> you're so sweet. And yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy about it. I don't feel any other type of way. I'm just really proud. So I want to make sure that flying stays fun and positive for her. And I think going at her pace will ensure that. So um, hopefully you guys learned a lot from this video and I'll keep you posted on the next video where you can see a lot of her indoor flight training conditioning and what the next flight trip looks like and all the fun that we have in between.